On this episode of Cooking with Chef Fowler, you're gonna need one mortar and pestle rock, acorns. I'm Zachary Fowler, and that's Chris Thorne. And this is the 30 Day Survival Challenge, Texas. There's only one rule. If you wanna eat, you gotta catch and cook it. Yeah. <sighs> Good morning. Day 28, almost there. Pretty much two days left here, two full days. And we're out of here. I hear something. It sounds like a turkey. I'm gonna go check it out. There hasn't been turkeys here since we got here, so that would be Epic. Oh man, would I love a turkey. is on. I got the 50 caliber air rifle and I'm ready for turkey. I hear him over that way so I'm gonna head over there. Unfortunately the property in that direction doesn't go incredibly far so it until it hits the neighbor's property. Hey cows. Hey cows. <sighs> no luck. It's still I'm still hearing them. I guess without the leaves on the trees, you can hear a lot further. And so I hear... Oh, it's straight over there. Oh, well. Maybe I'll uh, make the rounds back that way, see if our traps did anything that we set last night. And finally set that other one on that rabbit hole that I saw a day ago. No luck on the cactus figure four. Not on mine, but Chris's went off. Is there anything squishy under there? Nothing but leaves. Mm, I don't see any of his nuts were chewed on either. So, all right, on to the next place. Rabbit snare is still set. Doesn't look like anything's been through there. Toggles are still locked together, the grim toggles. Ooh, they're locked together so lightly. That'll be perfect. Anything goes through there, bam. The rabbit hole there. I saw the rabbit run away from it the other day. go that'll make a nice spot got my grim card I've been keeping it in here with my hunting tags and my uh, driver's license and there's my new custom grim card I designed before this adventure with grim and I used well those are the trap triggers right there I used on the last trap pop out those triggers and wire up another snare snare loop. I usually give it two twists around and then a twist around it to lock it all in place. These toggles make it so you don't have to like cut it here and attach this to the next piece and the next piece.
looks like a little bit of a mess but that's just because I wrapped the wire around it to hold it up on the bottom one so that I don't have to like flip it upright and it doesn't flop down while I'm setting it and the top one it's the same sort of thing I wrap it around it so it holds it in a position and there's the snare and I put a couple little sticks so that the rabbit will just generally head for the center and let's give it a try see if it's sensitive enough rabbit comes through oh and he's caught so sensitive if you look at it sideways it'll cry See, look at that. <laughs> Maybe that was a little too sensitive. All right, trap set. Time to get back for coffee. Ooh, coffee's probably good and done by now. It's probably more espresso than coffee at this point. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> yep. I need to add some water to that. on to cook the ever stew catfish raccoon possum everything a growing boy needs Nothing like fishy coffee. I keep having a stew in this, so I got a little bit of hot coffee, some grass. Clean your pot. It is the one luxury I've set aside for myself, coffee, while I'm out here. Because there's only one rule. If you want to eat, you got to catch it and cook it. So technically coffee is not a cheat. Not according to our rules. I guess if we play it like that though too, there's a lot of other things we could have brought and could have done too. Tea. <laughs> could have tea time. Coffee will do. Dear Diary, I love coffee. I wish I could like tea, but I prefer the taste of that dark, rich aroma to that of boiled socks with a hint of lawn trimmings. And it's not just the taste of it, it's all the ceremony that goes into making it. Grinding the beans and cooking it and smelling that waft throughout your whole house and then pouring that first cup as opposed to just boiling some water which has no scent whatsoever throwing a tea bag in and then forgetting about it until it's too cold to drink and then you gotta remove that soggy tea bag you put it on the counter and it dribbles everywhere it's like choosing to still go down and wash your laundry in the river by beating it against the rocks when something better has already clearly been invented good morning guess what how you feel like pancakes pancakes yeah I have an idea Okay. We're gonna take some of those acorns and make meal and I'm gonna try to make some acorn pancakes. How's that sound? 
I'm in there, but one question. What? We don't have a maple tree. Oh. Well, we can't have everything. We might be able to have some acorn pancakes, just no syrup. <laughs> we'll try. I mean, it might be a mess, but I'm going to try. In here, talking to Chris. And what do I spy through the trees? See if the camera can make it that far. And digital zoom doesn't look very good. There he is just eating over there. For those of you wondering why I'm not sitting out there every morning and getting a deer like that when I've already seen him a couple times here with the 50 caliber air rifle, it's because at this location, the uh, uh, land property owner has asked me not to take a buck and this is a no doe zone. So unfortunately, when I didn't get one at Bob Hansler's property in our first 20 days out there, I lost the opportunity because it is not, uh, it's not, not allowed to happen here. So the only thing on the menu here for the air rifle is turkey, which have been non-existent so far, uh, rabbits, and boar, which have all been very elusive, unfortunately. So, raccoon and possum it is. <laughs> Oops, wasting it. There we go, fresh cup of ever stew. Yummy. Oh. Day is warming up. Had my fish head soup ever stew soup I guess you call it I think I'm gonna go down check on the fishuation see if we can't get a fish have a fish already down there or get our lines rebated and get one for later I would love a catfish but uh, also I want to find a good rock to use for a mortar and pestle. I ground up some of those acorns before with my little wooden pestle, but I can't get it really fine. And to make a pancake reality, I think I need a good flat rock and another rock to really grind it on so I can make a good acorn paste. And we see if we can't get, put like a little raccoon fat in the pan and make some little pancakes or cakes of some sort to add a bit of difference and variety to our meal today. I'm actually a bit more hopeful today just because it almost always goes like that with me for fishing it's like nothing 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 and then you get something I feel like I'm working with the uh, threads from the Emperor's new clothes. It's like invisible. You're like, what's he doing? Working with invisible line. There we go. I got my new trout line, my little sinker rock, and three dough balls of power bait and smaller hooks. Buried, the hooks and stuff are buried inside of there. And it's tied to the root now. I'm gonna sling her out there and See what she can do. Oh, beautiful. Right where I wanted it. All right, on to the next place. Nothing.
there's fish jumping out there. I've tried worms, I've tried... What I found in their bellies, the wild pecans. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, here comes Chris. He says he has hope with him. What do you got? I have the ring of power. I stole it from Sauron. I don't know about how that'll help us with food, but. But no. What you got? What Only you... took four days, but I caught a singular minnow. A singular minnow. This oh, is maybe... the unicorn minnow. Unicorn minnow? Yes. Maybe we can catch something bigger with it. Let's try. Let's see if we can't turn this tiny minnow into a big fish. Tiny hooks for the win. All set up, let's see. Little fish, little hook. Let's see what we can do. Now it's a hurry up and wait sort of thing. Nothing doing, gonna try on the next spot, move down a little bit. The most beautiful spot in the river right here. We call this Narnia. Head on up through the rocks and onto the other side where my other line is. I'm getting pretty beat too. I'm stuck, stuck on this. No fish. No fish stuck on this. That's for sure. I just can't believe as many things as times I've cast in here, something hasn't taken. No. No. Nothing. No lures work, no worms work, no. There are clams around here somewhere. I see the clam shells. I know, I've seen that too, but I see no sign of where they are in the water. I'd have to probably go diving for them. Well, the, the, the flood waters are still coming down. They still got a good, like, foot. Before the oh! Water. I just lost the minnow. How? He came off the hook and went flying. I should have rehooked him before. All right, skunked on all the fishing. We're gonna pack it up and see if we can't find a good mortar and pestle rock and make those acorn pancakes a reality so we have something delicious to eat. Yeah, there's all kinds of beautiful rocks in here. That's not bad. I keep looking though, I just started. There's a nice, I think I'm taking palm it right there and or it's even got that end there. All right, I think my first one was the best one. That nice divot right there. She'll work great with this one. There we go, make our paste. Acorn flour. There we go, now I have what it takes to grind them bones to make my bread. <laughs> or acorns. <laughs> Back to camp. Alright, let's grind them acorns up. Ah, that's loud. On this episode of Cooking with Chef Fowler, you're going to need one mortar and pestle rock, one thing of pre-boiled acorns. You must boil your acorns at least three times to remove the tannins so you don't get sick. We did these, I think, like 
four, five, four or five times and then, uh, and then like one more time overnight. And now they don't taste so bitter. You can eat them, but they're not very good. So that's why we're gonna try and make something special out of them today. Got about a cup of acorns and I'm gonna take them and grind them up on my mortar and pestle rock. We're gonna try, and then that should give me a bit of a meal that I can use to create like a biscuit pancake -y something or other. Let's find out if this works. Easier said than done. I think there's a problem. There's still too much moisture in them. I should have like, I need to roast them. And that'll make them a little drier. There we go, nice and roasted. That'll work. And to make it into some sort of little cakes, I'm gonna try and use some of this broth. We just brought this back up to a boil. There's still some meat in there for tonight's dinner. I bring some of this broth and this fatty broth into here to try to make it a, a little bit of a cake. Probably don't wanna to add too much. It's not gonna, this may not stick together all that well. Not like a uh, real flour. I think it's gonna work. Yeah. All right, acorn biscuits. Let's fry those bad boys up. Spatula. I'm gonna get a couple cracklings out of this too. Some little fat snacklings. Smells like bacon. <laughs> it just everything smells like food now though. Even that skunk I smelled yesterday smelled like pizza for some reason. And we're gonna put a uh, little biscuit in. Ooh. Ooh. I'm super excited. Ooh. I've been cooking for a little bit. I'm going for a flip. I'm going for a flip. Oh, there's one flip. Look at that. Backwoods nut burgers for vegetarians. <laughs> Actually, wait. I was like, don't say that. <laughs> I was like backwoods nut burgers, but uh, for vegetarians, but not since they've been cooked in raccoon fat. That uh, backwoods nut burgers. Yeah, that wouldn't go over well. We're we're going a little nuts here. I, I think <laughs> he we're going yeah, we're did. going a little nuts. We've been out here a long time. <laughs> he said it. Yee! It's like a whole meal. Oh, this is gonna be interestingly like complete for once. All right, here I'll split the cracklings with you. And biscuit for you. And two biscuits for you. See, this looks like one of those things. Like, if you're, if I was at your house and your daughters were playing, like, like, like cooking in the backyard, and they made mud pies. This is what I imagine. Yeah, the, 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 you imagine what it yeah. looks like. <laughs> and a little bone to chew on, and eat the cartilage. There you go. Wham bam. I'll save the broth for later, because that's you got any stewed pieces, kind of. All right, ready? Lord, thank you for this acorn biscuits and raccoon uh, that it's kept us alive this long and pray that just maybe one more catfish or something else for us to enjoy before we leave with our one more full day tomorrow.
thank you that you've made it this far and helped us get this far. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let's do it. Let's do it. Look at that. Check that out. It looks like a complete meal. Acorn biscuits, raccoon stewed meat from yesterday that's been reheated, and some, uh, oh, try and get my finger in the right spot, some little cracklings from the fat. Oh, they don't really stay together, do they? That's great. That's so different like than anything we've eaten the entire time we've been out here that I'm really enjoying this. I mean, I would have preferred like maple syrup on it. Oh, that would be so good. Or like agave nectar. Mm-hmm. Mm, -hmm. mm pretty good. Mm. They're so good. They taste awful. You don't like them? No. What does they taste like? What is that you don't like? Um, like burnt crap. I think I'm also trying. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to. My 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 mind is still going to like biscuits. Mmm. Like anything, like like normal biscuits, I guess. And I think that's what's tainting my. I'll eat them if you don't want to eat them. Taste buds. No, oh, so they they would really taste a lot better with an apple. So I love it. I think they taste like a nutty flour. Of course, I spent three hours mashing these to make them. I spent three hours making this for you and you don't even like it. I would say this is a win. I'm happy with those. Are you going to eat those? Um, save me one because I'll probably eat one later tonight. But I was like, if you want the other one, for sure, you can have one. I can one. have one of your biscuits? Yeah, man. All right. He doesn't want it. I'm going to eat it. I'm loving it. Mmm. Oh, thank you, Lord, for acorns and all the other wild porridges. Mmm. All right, I am in for the night. It is like 2 o'clock in the morning now. I walked all over the place. <sighs> Saw a rabbit, missed a shot on it. I can't see anything through that night vision scope. I just can see the eyeballs. And it's just so heavy trying to bring it on to like what you're aiming at. It was very difficult for something so small. It works great. I feel like for a stand, you're in a blind, something like that. But getting a shot off at a rabbit, I feel like I got the wrong tool for the job when it comes to that kind of thing. I mean, I've gotten two with it, but uh. I don't even know how many have eluded me otherwise, you know. Um, so, I, I don't know. I think I needed uh, like a 30 caliber. Uh, I would have had a lot more food if I had like a 30 or 22 caliber air rifle. And uh, much lighter, been able to pop, pop them off real quick and get the shots off accurately and a nice night vision scope. So, lots of learning still to go. Anyways, oh, I am pretty tired now, 2 o'clock in the morning. I still want to get up. Tomorrow's the last full day, and so I want to make sure I get all kinds of stuff done. And uh, so I'm going to get some good rest, try to get up at uh, the crack of dawn, and enjoy my last full day here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Fowler out.